All the stories in the Bible tell one big story. It's the story of how God loves his children with a never ending, never giving up, always and forever kind of love. Right at the beginning when God's perfect world got messed up, he promises to come and fix it, to mend his broken world and to mend our broken lives. Just over 2,000 years ago, God finally puts his rescue plan into action and it begins on earth when a baby is born. This is the big story of Easter. Are you ready? God chose Mary to be the mother of Jesus and Joseph to be his earthly father. Mary held the baby close and kept him warm. They both gave Jesus everything he needed to grow. The baby Jesus, he grew and became a boy. When Jesus was about 12 years old, he went with Mary and Joseph to Jerusalem for a very special festival. When they were returning home, Mary and Joseph discovered that Jesus wasn't among their family group. So they hurried back to the city and looked everywhere they could. Finally, they found him in the temple talking to the teachers. When Jesus spoke, everyone, even the teachers, listened because he knew so much. When the teachers spoke, Jesus listened because he wanted to learn more. He was learning his heavenly father's plan. The boy Jesus grew and became a man. When Jesus was about 30 years old, he went to the River Jordan to be baptised by his cousin John. As soon as he came up out of the water, heaven opened and God's spirit came very close to Jesus like a dove. A voice from heaven said, this is my son. I love him. I am very pleased with him. Listen to him. After Jesus was baptised, he went into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights to pray and get ready for his work on earth. Jesus knew that to carry out God's rescue plan, he would have to die. There was no other way. The snake tempted Jesus three times with other ways, but each time Jesus said, no, no, no. I trust God and will do what he wants. When Jesus returned from the desert, he began his work. He told such wonderful stories and he did such amazing things that people wanted to know who he really was. And they just had to follow him. Jesus came close to people, especially people that no one else liked. Jesus healed many people and he helped them to come close to God. He was mending God's broken world. After three years, God 
Jesus knew the time had come. He went to Jerusalem for the Passover celebrations. This was when the people of Israel remembered how God had rescued them from being slaves in Egypt. Long, long ago. But this Passover, God was getting ready for an even greater rescue. meal, Jesus held up the bread and the cup. And he gave thanks to God and he said, whenever you eat the bread and you drink the wine, remember me. This is how God will rescue the whole world. My life will break. But God's broken world will be mended. My blood will be poured out. But your hearts will heal. After supper they went out to a garden where Jesus prayed. That night was a confusing one. In the dark of night, guards came and they arrested Jesus. Angry, jealous leaders had Jesus put on trial, even though he had done nothing wrong. The next day he was beaten and whipped and had to carry a cross up the hill outside the city where he was crucified like a criminal. On the cross, Jesus cried, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Later in the afternoon, Jesus said, it's finished. And he died. The sky grew dark. A few of Jesus' friends took his body and they put it in a cave and they rolled a big stone over the front like a door. Jesus' friends were sad and confused. They thought it was the end. third day, very early in the morning, some women came to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body. But when they got there, the stone was rolled away and the tomb was empty. Suddenly, an angel appeared and said, Why are you looking for Jesus here? He isn't dead anymore. He is alive. Some of the women rushed back to town, but Mary stayed at the tomb weeping. Then she saw a man that she thought was the gardener. So she asked him where they had taken Jesus' body. And he turned to her and said her name. Mary. And she knew it was, he was alive. Jesus told Mary to go back and tell the others, I am alive. I am the light of the world. Jesus' rescue plan has worked. Because I have defeated death, you can live forever with your Father in heaven who loves you with a never-ending, never-giving-up, 
always and forever kind of love. I wonder where you would fit into this story. I wonder how you could work with Jesus to mend this world. I wonder which part of this story surprises you the most? <laughs>